Welcome to GED Prep AI Tutor. In this video, we're going to tackle one of the most common question types on the GED science test, reading graphs. Let's start with the first question. We're asked to compare the number of deaths from heart disease in 2005 to 2011. Let's check out the graph. The orange bars are 2005 and the green bars are 2011. Look at heart disease at the bottom. The orange bar in 2005 is longer, around 650,000 deaths. The green bar in 2011 is shorter, about 600,000. So right away, we can tell heart disease deaths went down over that time period. Okay, now let's test the answer choices. Option A says, biggest decrease. That looks good. The drop from 650,000 to 600,000 is a large decrease. Keep that in mind. Option B, smallest increase. Well, heart disease didn't increase at all. It decreased, so that's out. Option C, biggest increase. Again, nope, the bar got smaller, not bigger. Option D, smallest decrease. That doesn't fit either because cerebrovascular disease had a smaller decrease. Heart disease had the biggest one. So the best match here is A, biggest decrease. In the next problem, we're looking at a graph about proton exchange membrane fuel cells, or PEMFCS. Scientists wanted to test if adding a hydrogen storing polymer, labeled here as HSP, would improve performance. All right, check out the graph. On the x-axis, we've got operation time, and on the y-axis, we've got increasing power. The orange line is the cell with HSP, and the green line is the one without HSP. At the start, both cells are about the same, around two units of power. But as time goes on, notice what happens. The orange line shoots up all the way to nearly six, while the green line actually goes down slightly, ending near one. So the difference between them isn't just small, it keeps getting bigger over time. Now let's test the answer choices. Option A, the difference in power between the two PEMFCS increased over time. That matches what we just saw. One goes up, one goes down, the gap widens, keep that. Option B, PEMFC without HSP produced more power. Nope, the green line is always below the orange line, so cross that one out. Option C, PEMFC with HSP had a constant rate of power change. Not true, the slope changes. It rises quickly between seconds two and four, then levels off. So cross that one out. Option D, both cells power increased at the same rate. Definitely not. One increased, the other decreased. So, the best answer here is A. The difference in power between the two PEMFCS increased over time. All right, let's break down this line graph question. The graph shows average global temperatures from 1900 to 2000. Look at the Y axis. It's labeled temperature anomaly in degrees Celsius. That just means how much the temperature differs compared to a baseline. Now, notice the trend. Starting in 1900, values are below zero, but as time goes on, especially after 1970, the line steadily rises. By 2000, the anomaly is well above zero, close to one degree warmer. So the clear pattern here is a long-term warming trend. Now let's test the answer choices. Option A, the Earth's climate has remained stable. That doesn't fit. The line is clearly going up, not staying flat. Cross that out. Option B, human activity has no impact on climate change. Careful here. The graph only shows temperature changes. It doesn't say anything about causes like human activity. So this answer goes beyond the data, eliminate it. Option C, the Earth has experienced a long-term warming trend. Yes, that matches perfectly with the rising line from 1900 to 2000. Keep this one. Option D. 
temperatures fluctuate randomly with no pattern. Wrong again. There are small ups and downs, but overall, the line moves upward in a clear pattern. Cross it out. So the best answer here is option C. The Earth has experienced a long-term warming trend. The next one, let's take a look at this graph about measles cases in the United States. The information tells us that in 1963, a measles vaccine was introduced and public health campaigns led to widespread vaccination. The chart shows the number of reported measles cases from 1980 to 2000. Now, notice what the graph shows. In the mid-1980s, there were spikes, tens of thousands of cases. But after the late 1980s, the bars dropped dramatically, and by the mid-1990s onward, cases are close to zero. So the overall trend is a sharp decline in measles cases. Now, let's test the answer choices. Option A, increase in natural immunity. That would take many decades and wouldn't explain such a rapid drop. Cross that one out. Option B, improved nutrition. Better nutrition helps general health, but it doesn't nearly eliminate one specific disease. Cross that one out too. Option C, widespread vaccination programs. That matches the background information. The vaccine was introduced, vaccination campaigns spread, and the graph shows the direct result, a steep decline. This one looks good. Option D, climate change reducing virus spread. There's nothing in the data or background that supports this. Cross that one out. So the best answer is option C, widespread vaccination programs. And the final one. The chart shows greenhouse gas emissions in the U.S. broken into categories. Transportation makes up the largest slice at 28%, followed by electric power at 25%. Then we have industry, residential, and commercial, and finally agriculture. Now, here's the question. What conclusion can be drawn from this data? Let's go through the answer choices one at a time. Option A says, cutting emissions from transportation would have the largest impact. Well, transportation is the biggest slice of the pie, so reducing it would have the biggest effect. This looks correct. Option B, industry produces more emissions than transportation. That's not true. Transportation is 28%, while industry is only 23 so we can cross this one out. Option C, agriculture is the main source of emissions. Wrong again. Agriculture is the smallest slice at just 10%. Cross that one out. Option D, electricity has no role in greenhouse gas emissions. That's definitely false. Electric power is the second largest category at 25%. Cross this one out too. That leaves us with option A as the best choice. Cutting emissions from transportation would have the largest impact. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exam like tests.